Hi, Tony Page from Travel Signpost Photo here again. And in our continuing war against the curse of blurry photos, we've enlisted the help of that accessory that we all love to hate, but wish we had with us when we haven't got it. Yep, the tripod. Now there are lots of tripods, different types made out of steel, magnesium, titanium, and now carbon fiber. And all of them have one thing in common, they're a nuisance to carry around with us, but they're very useful, in fact essential, if we want to take certain type of photographs. If you need to take photographs with long exposures, there really is very little substitute. There are substitutes, we'll talk about those later. But first of all, let's look at the tripods. Now this one is my trusty Gitso. It's made of uh, steel, I believe. Um, it weighs about three kilos and I carried it around for a long time when I was a travel journalist, still do occasionally. Uh, it's quite heavy, it's very useful, especially for beating off marauding thugs in downtown Manila or the occasional pack of dingoes in the Outback Australia. However, if you're on holiday, it's not the kind of thing you want to carry around with you all the while. This one is a uh, carbon fibre one. Now, this is what I use now. It weighs about a kilo. Um, and you can have different heads on both of them. Of course, get so, carbon fibre, yes, expensive. But you can get plenty of cheaper tripods that will do okay. But beware. You know, uh, cheap tripods uh, are very often cheap for a reason. Look, here's a good way of testing out your tripod. Put it up to its maximum height, or at least, the very least, the height that you're most likely to use it. Now, put your hand on top of it. You don't have to have the camera on it. Put your hand on top of it and move it backwards and forwards. The tripod shouldn't move at all. And in fact, that's the really uh, amazing thing about these carbon fiber ones, you know. When I first got it, I thought, uh-oh, uh, these legs look very thin, they're going to be flexible, it's going to be a bit shaky. It's not, it's amazing. You put your hand on top of it, you can't move it, you can't move it at all from side to side. It's the rigidity is astonishing, and that's what you're paying for. So that's the first thing to test when you've got your smaller or cheaper tripod. Test the stability. It's absolutely no use whatsoever to get one of these tripods that wave about in the wind or quiver whenever you touch them when you've got your camera on top of it. And don't forget, if you've got a really heavy camera, you're going to need a more rigid, if not heavier, tripod. The next thing to, to, to check about tripods is how they go up and down. Now you've got a choice here, generally uh, one of two, trapped fingers or strained wrists. Just joking, but I tend to like the twist uh, method. You can see it on this schizo here. Uh, others swear by the uh, clip. I, I find those clips tend to catch on things and sometimes they get a bit too much dirt in. But you pay your money and you takes your choice. Uh, another thing to look out for is, and you're seeing more of this around now, are the tripods where the legs can reverse for packing. That can be helpful. Uh, and another thing is make sure your tripod legs really go out quite flat because it's surprising how often you can get a good shot from a very low viewpoint and some tripods they get to 45 degrees and you're stuck so uh, give that a go okay that's about it for tripods except to remind you there's one thing you should always have with you if you've got a tripod and that's a cable release there's not much point in having a tripod and then uh, hitting your finger on the release and giving it a bit of vibration that way. So do get a cable release. Uh, they cost little and they don't take up much space. You can use a timer, of course, but a cable release gives you more precision. And when you want to take that night shot of that car coming past you just at the right time, uh, a cable release is the only way to go. Okay, that's about it for the tripod. Uh, next time, the monopod. Until then, this is Tony Page from Travel Signpost Photo wishing you good shooting.